Hello my friends and welcome to this video. I hope you have seen my last video on Kung Fu Panda characters and as I promised you, I will explain all of the techniques that you have seen in that video. And today we will start with moving clouds. Just look at the top of this presentation and you will see moving clouds. So I will explain today with more simple images how to do this effect. So first step, you have to create the background. You can uh, create a background color by pressing right click, mouse right click on the slide and choose solid color. So it can be any color, it can be white. I have chosen purple. Okay. The second step we have to create some buildings. As you can see, buildings are a separate object, so we can move them around. So it's like a second layer and I'll demonstrate you how you can create buildings for yourself. So choose shapes, freeform tool and just click around until you have your buildings. Create some nice buildings or any other kind of stuff that you would like to have on your slides. And it's important to connect the ending point with the starting point and then you will have a nice shape and you can fill it with the color that you like. Okay. So now I have added some more buildings. So now we have three layers in total. We have our background and we have two layers of buildings. Okay. We're doing good. Alright, now the third step is to create some nice fluffy clouds and I will demonstrate you how you can create some clouds in PowerPoint. So press insert, go to shapes and choose the curve tool, curve tool, I guess I s pronounced it correctly or maybe not, oh well, so just Click around until you have a nice cloud shape, fill it with white color, make the outline none, no outline, then choose shape effects, go to glow options, yes, so make sure that the glow color is white and set the size to something about 30 points, I think 30 points looks uh, gives that effect that we are looking for so in this way i have created all of the four clouds that you see on this slide so now we have to select all of these four clouds you can select them by holding down the shift key and clicking them and now let's group them into one object like this right And at this point, I would suggest to insert a rectangle at the corner of the slide. And you will see soon why we need a rectangle. <laughs> Let's make color red and align it to the top right corner of the slide. This rectangle will really help to make our animation look correct so let's group this rectangle with all of the clouds so we have one big object let's copy this one big object so we have two big objects <laughs> all right and let's align them to the top and let's make this rectangle of a different color for example yellow and now let's select both of these two objects and let's group them so right click group group so now we have one big object with eight clouds and two rectangles let's go to animation and add motion path right So, as you can see, we have a green bubble and a red bubble. So, grab the red bubble 
press down the shift key so you can draw a straight line and now it's important that uh, your yellow rectangle overlaps precisely the red rectangle so this will make sure that your animation when it loops it looks correct so we can zoom in a little better so we can achieve a better result of overlapping as you can see there's still some red at the side so I guess I will zoom in a little bit more so I have uh, more control Okay, I think, okay, I think this will be enough. This will be good enough. Okay, let's go to animation pane. Right click on this group 21. Effect options. Let's make it zero seconds for smooth start and smooth end because we don't need these and these things. And for the repeat, let's choose until the end of slide. So the clouds will be moving until the end of slides. They will be looping. And let's uh, select the text and let's select the, the dark buildings and move them to the front so that the clouds go behind. So the clouds are now behind the dark buildings but in front of those light purple buildings. This way I think they look much better. So now let's check out what we have done so far and what do we have. Let's press for the animation to start. And as you can see the clouds are moving. They're moving fast. And yes, we can slow down the clouds and go to timing. And just, just press animation and where is the duration? We can press 20 seconds. And we can remove uh, the rectangles because we don't need them anymore. They helped us a lot, but we don't need them anymore. Sorry, rectangles. And let's check it out again. So now we have some nice naturally moving clouds. So I hope you understood what I was talking about and you have learned this technique. So thank you for watching. So please comment, like, share and subscribe and in my next videos I will teach you the further techniques that you have seen in the Kung Fu Panda presentation. So thanks for watching.